a European Union and Eurozone member country, Cyprus is ideal to live and invest in. Cyprus. Invest with confidence. Welcome to the FinancialMirror.tv Cyprus Report, sponsored by the Cyprus Investment Promotion Agency. The Indian president, heading a large business delegation, paid an official visit to Cyprus to further strengthen bilateral relations in all fields, both political as well as economic. The two leaders agreed that bilateral trade, which stands at $69 million annually, is much below potential and efforts to increase it should be explored. The growth rate of the Cypriot economy is expected to be negative this year, but less than that of other Eurozone countries according to the autumn economic forecast of the European Commission. In particular, the GDP will decline this year by 0.7%, while next year it will reach 0.1%. The deficit is estimated to reach 3.5% of the GDP by the end of the year, with an increasing trend the next two years. Cyprus welcomed the approval by the Russian government of the Protocol for the Avoidance of Double Taxation regarding the taxes on income and capital between Cyprus and Russia. The protocol is expected to be submitted to the Russian State Duma for final ratification. The Ministry of Finance noted that this agreement enables Cyprus to maintain its position as the most important country in the world for investments to Russia, while Russia remains the greatest commercial and economic partner of Cyprus with billions of euros deposits in the Cypriot bank system. The Town Planning Authority has scheduled a hearing for the end of November where two golf course developers are expected to argue their case for new 18-hole courses and water desalination plants. MedGolf Properties wants to operate a golf course near Larnaca, while airports operator and retail tycoon Nikos Chakolas wants to start a golf course at his Limni Resorts project near Paphos. Bank of Cyprus beat expectations with third quarter profits surging 38% to 117 million euros on the back of higher investment gains. Analysts polled by the Financial Mirror were forecasting profits at 90 million euros. For the ninth month period, however, net profit fell by nearly a third year on year to 265 million euros from 375 million in the same period last year. Bank of Cyprus is on track to meet its full year profitability target of delivering between 300 to 400 million euros in net profits. The Board of Directors declared an interim dividend of 8 cents euro per share. Itihad Airways, the national airline of the United Arab Emirates that launched flights to Cyprus only five months ago, is on target to increase its frequency by adding a fourth flight from Abu Dhabi by the end of January or early February. The airline recently got approval from the Civil Aviation Authority to increase its operations to daily flights. Itihad's strongest points are the arrival time of just after 8 p.m. in Abu Dhabi, value-added products such as the limousine service to Dubai, and its growing network of destinations. Thanks for watching FinancialMirror.tv. A European Union and Eurozone member country, Cyprus is ideal to live and invest in. Cyprus has a transparent and robust economy, well-educated professionals, attractive taxation and growth potential in several sectors. Cyprus. Invest with confidence.